This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2002 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Long Bed. It's a 7.3 liter turbo diesel and it's a two-wheel drive. It's an XL which means it's got crank windows and a vinyl floor. Um, it's on a clear title. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Texas. Uh, I'm going to walk you around it, show you what, what's going on here. We had to replace the glow plug module and the glow plug relay. And uh, it runs great. Uh, typical 7.3. Well, obviously this is a great work truck or towing vehicle, whatever you want to do. And it's got the uh, 7.3, which unfortunately they're not making anymore. Although I hear they may someday do that again. But they've been saying that for a long time. Anyway, uh, tire, driver front tire looks like it's about 30 or 40 percent tread. This fender has a couple little nicks and stuff. Obviously, you're not looking for a, a beauty in a, uh, in a uh, XL version of a two-wheel drive F250. But... Uh, it's my job to uh, show you what you're buying, just in case you uh, are looking for a show truck. This is not it. Okay. Uh, rock chips, chips here, something here. There's a little bit of a ding right there. Little rock chips like here on the door here. Probably could use uh that's all from not having the mud flaps on the front. That's what's going on there. There's a small ding right here on the passenger lower door, a couple rock chips there. Really for a 12-year-old uh thousand mile truck, it's pretty dang straight. Especially considering they're usually work trucks. This tire looks really low in tread, like maybe 5 or 10 percent tread. The rear bumper looks pretty good, which is unusual on a truck like this. You got a light package, plug here and a plug here. Got a tow package. Obviously you have no spare. wheel hitch. You can use a bed liner. Looks like they spilled a bunch of crap in here at one time. Tailgate has a little bit of dings in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Looks like there's a dent right here and right here. A couple of them there. And the driver rear tire looks a little bit higher than the passenger rear but not much. I'd say 10%. So I think you could probably use a set of tires. You can get some LTs. These, these take 16s. So you could probably get a nice set of LTs for 500, 600 bucks. Uh, if you call Discount Tires here in Tucson, the Prince in the Oracle Road store and ask for Sheldon, um, give them your credit card over the phone. Before you arrive to drive it home or before it ships out, we can have tires put on it. Usually uh, he can give you a five or 10% discount on tires. Plus, uh, it'll be tax-free, uh, which is a nice deal. My experience is you can get four LT tires in this thing for probably 500 to 600, depending on what brand you want. Obviously, if you want a name brand, you're going to pay a lot more than that. We put uh, one new battery. This is a new battery. The other one is not. There's your Ford stamp right there. Ford stamp there. Oh, that's the original fender. There's the fork stamp between my fingers. Stickers where they belong. In there. There's four. And there's four. Got an aftermarket air box. That so Not much to test on here. That's one of the nice things about having these entry-level trucks is that uh, you don't have to test power windows or anything because it doesn't have any. The back seat looks great. The front seat had big tears in the, on both sides, so we just put a seat cover on it. Figured keep the price down for the next guy. 
covering that seat would have probably cost two hundred dollars, and a seat cover cost thirty or forty. So that's our way of having a few trucks around here that aren't uh, overly expensive. I don't think anyone's in the back seat of this thing. It's way too clean. I think everyone lived in the front though. I'm told that yeah, I can feel it. There's a big tear right here. There's probably a similar one on the edge of the other seat. So this is the seat cover that we put on it. There you go. Tilt wheel. That's unusual. Yeah, the tilt wheel works fine. It's quite unusual to see a tilt wheel uh, on a uh, XL. We call vehicles with crank windows and not very much equipment strippies. Very unusual to see a uh, strippy with tilt and cruise. All right, there you go. Uh, 221,000. 415 miles. Got overdrive on and off. Already tried the tilt wheel. It's got an aftermarket radio. Let's see if it makes it. Set manager directing operations. And it does. Cup holder. Trailer brake. I don't know if that works or not. So let's just assume it doesn't. on all the levels, fan levels. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, this is on a clear title, so if you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're gonna pay dock fee and tax only. Uh, dock fee is $250, tax is 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is 3%, you're gonna to come to Tucson and drive it home, you're gonna pay 5% tax, total tax, plus $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price. No dock fee, no taxes. Uh, you'll deal with taxes or dock fees or whatever fees you have. Obviously not dock fees, but taxes or whatever kind of fees in your state if you have to. That's on you. Um, we have a, a shipper that brings all our vehicles to us from all over the country. His name is Fred with Beacon Shipping Logistics. His number is right in the middle of our ad. Um, it's a 401 area code. Great guy. His prices are right in the middle which is perfect. Too cheap and they'll just steal your deposit and you'll never see your car uh, or even worse they'll take it to a holding yard away from our place and it'll sit there forever waiting to go to your place. That's not good. That's why you need a guy like Fred in the middle. Um, Fred will communicate with you when there's a flaky trucker that doesn't show up when he was supposed to. He's going to tell you. He's not going to BS you and tell you everything's going to be great, wonderful, just so that he can have a weekend of peace. Uh, he will uh, slave right along there and let you know what's going on. He's a great guy. Please use him. Uh, if you don't use him, please make sure that uh, you don't take the cheapest uh, bid. That is not how you get cars shipped. Trust me, I've done uh, thousands of vehicles, and I would never, if, they, if I got a bid of 500 on one end and 800 on the other, I want to be closer to 800 Because <laughs> that money you're saving, you're not going to save money. Trust me, you're going to have an uh, ulcer and you're going to wait forever. So, uh, if you're gonna, it, it, being on the high end is a lot safer than being on the low end. Uh, what else? Deposits. Please get your deposit in. Once we have a deposit, we're going to put your name in a banner right over the, uh, over the vehicle, thanking you. And, uh, it'll be on our website at wheelk.com, uh, where all of our vehicles are advertised. And... Once we have a deposit, like I said, it's not for sale anymore. Until then, it is for sale. Cash stops it from being for sale, not a promise to pay. Let me jump on this thing. A big old heavy truck. Let's see how much time it takes to get rolling. Excellent. This thing runs fantastic. Um, also, eBay people. Uh, I've been saying this at the end of every video. This is not just for this truck. Um, 
It's not like I know something about this truck that I didn't know about anything else. I'm saying this in every video. Please, look at the ad, watch the video, look at all the pictures. Um, do not uh, bid or make an offer until you've read the ad. We tell you what we know about every vehicle. Uh, however, we're not a Ford engineer. We're not Chevy, Dodge, Porsche engineers. We did not set a time for the vehicle's warranty to expire. They did. They're experts. The reason that they set an expiration date is because they don't know what's going to happen to it after that expiration date. So hundreds of engineers are involved in setting a, a, a warranty expiration date. How we would know what's going to happen in this vehicle in the future uh, is beyond me, but for some reason eBay people tend to think they're buying a brand new vehicle uh, when it has 221,000 miles on it. Uh, you're not. So please think before you bid. Realize that uh, you're saving a lot of money, but at some point, sooner, later, at some point, you may have to spend some money to fix something because Ford wouldn't go there and therefore there's no reason to expect us to go there. Uh, if they could warranty this thing for 300,000 miles uh, and 15 years, or in this case 13 years, this thing would have been a $100,000 truck brand new because then the, no one would ever sell one, okay? So, please remember that. Be realistic, know what you're buying, and uh, you know if you really want a new truck, they're for sale. You can probably buy a strippy version of this with the new motor in it uh, and warranty for, I don't know, 30, something like that. Uh, we would much prefer that than somebody thinking that they're gonna get a vehicle that's gonna run great for the next 200,000 miles, because we don't know and nobody can know, all right? Anyway, this is a nice truck. Uh, it could use a set of tires for sure. Uh, and I strongly urge you, in fact, I'm gonna insist, if you come here to drive it home, please get a set of tires. I'm not gonna let it go without tires. You know, and I'm just looking up right now, and I wanna let you know that there's a rock chip here, here, and here, and one up here also. Now, I just noticed them, so they're really not in the line of view, but they're there. Um, I wouldn't do anything about them, but uh, if you want us to get a windshield, uh, we get windshields for $139, so if you wanted to add that to the deal, uh, $139 will get you a windshield, okay? That is all. Thank you very much for your time.